Hello YouTube, this is Brewmaster H coming at you with another beer review and World of Tanks gameplay. Once again, it is Monday. Happy Eclipse Monday, guys. Um, you know, what would you guys do without your Brewmaster video on a Monday, right? Today, we've got McGovern's Oatmeal Stout by Belfast Bay Brewery. This is a 5.1% ABV. Very nice, very tasty stout. Oh, yes. Love the darkness. Mm, that's the sound of me sipping it. Yes, the aroma. Chocolate and coffee are primary with a slightly grassy smell as a secondary aroma. Our appearance is a deep, opaque, nearly black in color with a fluffy brown head. Flavor, this tastes a lot like a uh, chocolate-covered espresso bean. Slightly sweet chocolate at first with a drying coffee bitterness. Our mouthfeel is medium to full-bodied, but not as thick or soft as can be expected from an oatmeal stout, and only moderate carbonation. Overall, this is different from something sweeter like Guinness, and there are no nitro bubbles or flavor, but still very drinkable. I would definitely drink this again. Hope you guys enjoy this. Also, check this game out. We've got a KV2 game for you today. I know, you guys always ask for the derp, and who am I to deny you that fresh derp action so here we go all right guys we have a kv2 battle for you today on ruinberg as you can see we are top tier which means we're probably going to get a couple of one shots uh you know because that's what happens with kv2 is with the top tier right so here we go i like to go into the city you know, it's a safe place to be. There's only one artillery on the, on the enemy team. He's only a tier four, but still, I'd rather not get continuously artied over and over again and then get frustrated with being stunned perpetually. And since we're sort of slow, we're gonna take our time and come on up in here. Nice and deep like. Was that creepy? I hope, I hope that was creepy, because that's totally how I meant it. Um, I'm trying to play a little bit cautious, but apparently that M4 doesn't give a crap, and he's going to one-shot the T-28, and the other T-28 apparently is not pleased about it. So I'm just going to push right up in here, and we're going to say hello to this fella over here. Let's see. Tilda. Hi. Let's see if we can... Oh, oh, there we go. Ooh, that was close. We almost hit that Covenanter, but we definitely, that's our first one shot. There we go. And now we've got a lovely, you know, 15 second reload. Well, almost 20 second reload, but we got a Churchill over here. We're going to push in, say hello to, oh, the M4 shot me. He's got the derp. There we go. Nice 387 damage. I know, the Churchill's relatively well armored, so, you know, it's to be expected that we don't get a one-shot on that guy, which is kind of sad, though. Let's see if we can side-scrape against this A-20. Oh, is he going to be silly enough to stay where he is? Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Just come back out. You take a shot at me and bounce. I take a shot at you, and you explode. <laughs> Sucker. So there we go, second kill of the game. So fun. We've got our SU-100 yelling stupid at us, even though he doesn't apparently know how to spell stupids. But I think he's upset because he died. Oh, and we're reloaded, and there's a Churchill, and there's there's no more Churchill. Well, I was spotted. Still am spotted. M3 Lee over here. Something shooting at. I think it's artillery on our team. And I'm about to get my fourth kill of the match, I think. Oh, let's see if he hits me. Yep, he hit me, but he bounced. <laughs> oh, so entertaining. I love this tank. This tank is so hilarious. All right. Now it's time for derp v derp, right? Uh-oh. Someone's shooting us with heat. That SAU-40. Such, such a good time. All that heat. Hi, heavy tank number six. <laughs> You know, usually it's traditional to put your best armor to the front there, uh, heavy tank. Oh, oh, M3 Lee, but he's going to get wrecked by our teammates. That's cool. And now we're almost done with the game. There's an SU-100 and a Hellcat in the south. Let's see, an 
SAU-40 and the SU-5 up in the north. And we're just going to try to see what we can do to finish this game up. So there's really not a lot of threat to our cap. Oop, there's the SU-8. Can we get the arty kill? There we go. Flew true. Not even fully aimed. And there's the top gun. Derping is so much fun. So much fun. Yes. And we're just going to push forward a little bit here now that we're unspotted again. Hoping that Hetzer goes and spots this SAU. Maybe he's there. Oh, there he is. Oh, but I don't have a shot on him. Well, that's a bummer. Interesting name, the Butt Destroyer. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, the heads are got him first. That's a bummer. So now what my big question is, is where are the Hellcat and the SU-100? The Hellcat's fast. He could easily be back covering Cat by now. The SU-100 is l less fast by quite a bit. Is he a good player and is he defending? Or is he a bad player and still exactly where he was? Yep, there he is. He's still exactly where he was. So he's trying to get some easy kills, I think, um, and not make this game so ridiculous. But now it's just the Hellcat and the SU-100 left down there in the south of the map. And I'm going to side scrape out over here just in case there's a Hellcat. You know I'll never spot it. But I'm going to sit on cap. I know, not very interesting if... I just capped this one out, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Do I get seven kills? Do I get eight kills? Do I get no more kills and just sit on the cap like a turd? We'll find out. So our team isn't doing a lot of moving. Our looks doesn't want to scout because apparently he's afraid, which is probably a healthy fear, you know. There's a Hellcat and an SU-100 out there that both probably, well, at least the SU-100 can one-shot him if he's got the big gun. And the Hellcat can definitely take him down if he's got very many hit points missing. So I'm just going to sit here and wait. Hetzer hasn't spotted anything. We're waiting. We're waiting. 89, 90, 92, 94. And it looks like we're going to cap this one out. So there's the game. Let's check out the stats. Here we are, guys. That was only a first-class mastery badge. But we did get a high caliber and, of course, the top gun on that. So let's see. Team score, top overall. No one on the enemy team even got close. And our detailed report shows out of the eight shots fired, seven did hit and seven did penetrate. So that was nice. 69 capture points. Um, you know, that ending felt a little bit sad. We were running a premium account because uh, I think Wargaming had, was like giving us that apology on, uh, on messing up chat. So that was kind of nice. Got a little extra credits there. Um, I still would have made a profit, but it wouldn't have made a 20,000 credit profit. And I got almost 5k experience for the daily double and personal reserves and all that happy crap. So pretty nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.